Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we are going to be trying out these really cool adapters. Um, I'll put the link and I'll put the uh, you know the name of them up in the description below. Um, so what we're going to do is put these adapters on here that allow us to put two blades per spindle, having a total of six blades on here. Um, we're going to try this out on this particular property that we just started because it has massive leaves everywhere. We're going to see if it does a good job mulching this up or if I need to go grab the leaf vac system and the dump truck. Um, so we're going to see how this works. I'm going to show you guys what's up. Okay, so here we have these adapters. Um, you can see they wing up on they wing up on you know top side and bottom side like that. So a blade runs this way, and then a blade runs 90 degree angle the other way. So we got six blades right here. We're going to use the. Oh, by the way, this thing has just been kicking. But this freaking 30 inch X Mark mower with a 200 cc Kohler engine on it has been ridiculous, man. We've been. Um, I went to film the other day, but anyway, I wasn't able to but some really thick wet stuff on this one particular property we can't put the big mowers on so we've been using this this thing has just been a freaking monster guys i love it i'll have an update video coming soon for this so we're going to use the built-in jack on the trailer door and we're going to punch in six blades on this sucker right now yeah <laughs> All right, guys, just showing you how these are gonna get mounted on here. You have the washer plate, you have the washer back here. So you have one that's winged up this way. You have another that's winged out that way. And you can see that the blades, if it's pressed against it, you know, it's just holding, there you go. Bam, bam, bam. this is pretty cool. This is pretty crazy. Let's see how this works. So it is gonna take a little bit of that thread from your bolt. Alright, so I got one on real quick, let you guys see that one right there just already looks so crazy. Wow. Whew, boy, this is a little wrapped up. Look at that. Alright guys, so here's how we're going to put it on. I'm going to take this, put the blade on first. Then I'm going to put this plate on here like this. Oops. Yeah. Alright, so like that. Don't get disoriented and put the blades on the wrong direction or put them on upside down. So that's how they're going to go. Just like this right here. And so they will sit up like that. Ba -ba -ba bam So one thing about, oh, and then the uh, spacer goes on top right there. Like I said, you are losing a little bit of thread. Right, guys so you can see a bunch of debris here so I have the guys go along all of the fencing and everything and along the street blow everything out on here so we got a lot of leaves going on here so let's just see what happens with six lawnmower blades when it meets leaves and debris there are some little sticks and stuff like that here so I'll have to see what I'll have to see what it does with that so I'm not really worried about that right now um, I'm I want to see what it does as a debris and um, leaf mulcher so we don't run over big sticks but there's always going to be tiny little sticks from you know rotten wood falling down from trees everywhere there's trees everywhere so let's see how it does
holy crap, that is awesome. Okay, there's no denying that works. Oh my God, like I want a lot of leaves. I want some more leaves. We're gonna go find some more, there's a whole bunch. There's about a mile, there's about a mile stretch down this road that we do. Um, not everything is super leafy, uh, but man, this is just awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And small oak leaves are really hard to mulch up sometimes. Uh, man, that is freaking, look what it did. Look what it did. It destroyed it. Destroyed. So far it's working really well. So we're gonna come up here and clean all these leaves up. Right now, this whole line they got down there, they're down there blowing everything. So we're gonna, we're just gonna keep going. that little part look at the difference look how freaking sweet this is that's what we're doing there see them down there just blowing it all up just blowing it up man blowing it up baby and then come here and then bam there's before there's this is before that's after before after Right, guys so clearly this works like i said i'm gonna post the link below um and so you you guys can see where you get it from so these these leaves up here they're down here these leaves down here sometimes can be uh sport my boy richie plimmons what's up um can be very difficult to mulch up um depending on the kind of leaves they are we have a lot of success um but i'm gonna tell you something like the amount of leaves that are here with those six blades I've done this a long time and it makes a difference. So you're gonna have your own opinions, you're gonna have your own thing for your area, whatever. Oh, that does work, oh, that doesn't work, whatever. I've been out here, um, not on this particular property, but sucked up leaves, you gotta blow everything, you gotta blow it all into a line, you gotta come through, you gotta suck it up, you gotta go back and re-blow all the residual stuff. Um, the amount of time it takes to 
to blow everything into a line and then rake it into a line and then get on it and do it. I, um, and then bring in an extra truck and everything. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not saying that the leaf debris loader is not worth it. It is worth it. Uh, God, I love having that thing. But I think for this particular property, being able to do this, six blade it instead, um, so far, this is just my initial reaction is dang! I love it. It's freaking awesome. Oh my God, there's a lot more to do. So um, we're just gonna jump back to it and uh, get done. But man, I love this, dude. I love it. So I do have that bad bearing still on the uh, tensioner pulley. So I'm losing a little bit of grip on the blades when it's going over really thick stuff. So that's why I've had to kind of back up and forth a couple times. So I'm losing a little bit of grip on the blades because I have to press that bearing out and I have to press it back in. My brother's got a press, so I'm probably just going to do that this weekend. I just haven't had time to do it. I really need to do it because that uh, because that bearing is bad and it's kind of rattling around instead of holding perfect tension. Um, so I'm like, I'm losing a little bit of tension on that belt and it's still doing this good of a job. If that bearing were in there and everything was much tighter, it'd be doing an even better job, but I'm satisfied. It's freaking awesome. God, I love it, man. So all we gotta do is come back and blow it and feather everything into the grass. You get what I'm saying, feather it? That's a word that I use. So blow all the minced up leaves back and just kind of feather everything in and dude, it'll look awesome. You saw how, much leaves were, how many leaves were there. When you drive by, you're not really gonna even pay attention to any minced up, you know, mulched up little leaf debris by the time we're done with it. So anyways, um, do I recommend it? So far, yes. So far, 100%. I bought these for, I bought these for about 30 something bucks, I think. Then I bought the blades for $9 each. Um, it's worth it because the dump, the gas alone to go to the dump, which is um, 32 miles from here. So in order to bring the truck, the diesel, run the gas and all of that, um, with the dump and the gas mileage, the gas that it would take to, to take everything down there, to run the debris loader, spending $60 on blades, um, and then 40, so 100 bucks for that setup all day long. All right, all day long, it is freaking awesome. All right guys, peace out.